Okay, I'm going to introduce this new product from Kyron Hago called Playlist Pro. And Playlist Pro was really designed to be a playlist controller where you could actually connect to multiple systems. You could connect to multiple lyric devices, uh, plus channel box, plus power clips, and basically build a sequence of this. But the other great thing about this is you can add things to or add scenes to a sequence and then control them by building your own GUI or your own uh, little designer to control them. So I'm just going to take you through and show how this is done. The first thing I want to do is we're going to browse for some messages. So if I click the browse button, go here to my uh, lyric training under messages, and I'm just going to pick up a couple of messages, 1, 10, and 20. Those are the ones I want to use. There they are. It's created thumbnails of them. Now to build a sequence of this, pretty easy. Just drag this over and it's going to load uh, scene number one. Now scene number one has two lines of text that I might want to update. So we'll click two updates. And you can see in the scene, it shows me what's in the scene. So the top line of text is there and the bottom line of text is there. And I want to update both of these at the same time. So by putting a group in here and saying uh, update text just with one button it'll be able to update them both. So to do that I just drag those in there. And so we load the message, we type in the message that we want, then we update the message, then we want to play the message, and we want to stop the message. So again very easy to do this. Okay so now that we have them set here we can go to our designer and you can see I, I'm going to load message one um, I'm going to update the text, and to update this text, I can't just drag these over. I want to actually update them with a text box. So we'll click this down, and you can see I'm just going to move this up a little bit to the bottom here. Uh, this text box, what we would want to do is link this to that, to this field right here. And how we do that, you can see right in here. So I can say, well, I want to update that template. And we do another one okay and link that one to the second template and then we want to play the button and then stop the message so without making it very nice looking if you will it's basically done I can take this out of design mode now I'm just going to bring this up so you can see it in lyric as well and I'm going to load up my virtual frame buffer. So I load the message. There it is. Top line of text. I can type in my name here. Sports. Update the text. You can see that it updates it. And then play the message. And stop the message. So that quickly I can create a GUI to control that. Now, of course, if you want to, you can um, go back here again and we can add some more elements to this. So let's go back into the design mode. And let's say we want to load message. Okay, so I, I'm going to put an image on there. Okay, so we can come to this list here to image. There's image right there. It says none, so I'm going to click on it. And go to my images folder and I have some media controls in here and there's the load okay so I could leave that in the center I could actually get rid of the text but you might want to say um, I don't know maybe we can change this that's the name I want to actually change it here scene one sorry scene one and where is it aligning to I want to align it to the right and if I come back to the image, there's the image, and I might want to align that to the left. And on the text, there's the text. We could actually go in and change that text to be uh, bigger text, maybe make it bold. Okay, so very easily you can set this up and modify. So there's scene one, load scene one. And we actually have a symbol for an update. So let's go to this one now. I've highlighted that one. 
and we'll go to image again. There's the image. There's the update. And we can get rid of the text altogether. Don't need it. Update it. And put these in place. And same thing with the play. Let's put a symbol on that. So image. There's the play. Yeah, and again, we can get rid of the message one. We don't need the message one there. And then the same thing for the stop. Get rid of the text. Go to the image. And put a stop in. So very quickly we can set make this look fairly nice looking. So you might want to stretch that over to there or whatever. Maybe make these fit. Whatever you want. You can set them up however you want. Now the other thing we can do is instead of just having um, just one text in there, I can say, well, let's delete that. And if we put in a combo box, sorry, the combo box goes down here. Under the combo box, we can say we want to update uh, template number one. If we go to collection. I can type in, you know, Chiron Hago News. Chiron Hago Sports. And... Chiron Hago, weather, and so forth. Okay, so now we come out of design mode. And again, we look at it. We can load it. And I can type in Phil Carmichael like that. But now I can say, well, no, I want to make it Chiron Hago weather. We update it. And same thing, bring the virtual frame buffer, play it to the output, and take it off again. So again, very easy to create a playlist. And really what we wanted to do is we want to make it simple. So for instance, this can be done by anybody. We don't have to do much training. This, this little GUI can be set up. And the neat thing about it, because it was set up like this and we have to make a change to it, it's very easy to make a change. Let's say the, Chiron had, uh, the weather under the collection, we wanted to add another one you can see that it's very easy. We don't have to start over again. Um, international news. So load it. International news. Sorry. Update it. And again, this was using the auto follow, so you can see how easy it is to get that on the air and take it off again. So for making last minute changes, this is a great tool for making it very easy for a certain operators. If you want to just have a complete operation or even put this GUI in front of uh, the technical director. And this could be maybe on even on a touch screen. This could be a touch screen where you can load the scene, update it and play it to air or take it off the screen okay so very easy you saw me set that up like that again we can go and copy the whole thing and paste it down and then start moving the elements and and then like there's scene one but i could say well no no i want to start this one here this is a load button so instead of loading message 1, I'm loading message 20 now. And again, I would change that. All right, go back here. Instead of scene 1, right here, it's uh, sports hero. All right.
and this one here instead of playing message 5 it's play message 20 and this one is a stop well, we got actually have to have a stop so stop message 20 so we'll bring these both back again load it play it and stop it. Now and this one didn't have an effect out but again very easy to set up copy and paste and we have a new one and of course we can go and add these uh, update fields to the Sports Hero Note as well. So this is a great product for building playlists if you want to build playlists from multiple devices or from the same multiple devices we can now make GUIs, some nice looking GUIs and uh, make it very easy for the operator to play. Now how do we connect? One last thing, how do we connect to the playout systems? Basically through here, the device manager that we see throughout our product line right now. Where we can add a generic, we can add a channel box, add lyric, add generic. So if I hit add generic, we're just basically putting in the IP address of that, give it a name, is it on the network or is it serial connection? And hit OK. So I can add to mul I can connect to multiple devices at the same time. This one I'm just connected to the local host, which is the local machine that I have here. Now the other thing with Playlist Pro is you can actually save your uh, sequences and your setup. And so I actually have one saved uh, that I used, and I'm just going to go to here, and you can see that this already comes up. I mean, now this one, I do this on purpose because I can actually show you that this can go to the back. This was just a little highlight that I put around it. I can actually send that to the back. And if I want to go and see my files, again, I just go to uh, my message directory. And know that these were the files that I use so I'm just going to bring these into the browser again All right, so there's the ones that I used and if I go to the design mode or take it off a of design mode now and I'm just going to open up my lyric uh, frame buffer and see that you know just by clicking on this this is happens to be an interstitial Again, very easy to take it off and on the screen. And this is my main scoreboard, and I can actually change the score here. And it, you know, it could be in the end of the fifth inning. And then I update it, and then play the score. And if I was looking at the, the Lyric Canvas, I could actually have previewed that on the Lyric Canvas uh, before taking it to air and take it off and then you know a neat thing I want to do the Mets line up here and I can bring this on and yes I have uh, hotkeys uh, in the in lyric to advance these players but I could do it right here as well right. go ahead to the fifth player go ahead to the ninth player and take it off and this is great for doing uh, interstitials. So this is just a text interstitial. So I could actually type in third inning, update it, and play it. Now again, with, uh, with Playlist Pro, I could actually group this update and this play button together. So I could have just loaded it typed it in and hit the play button. So again, very quick, very easy to modify these settings.